Alrighty, Corey, we have a viewer question from Flufferboy2004, and he asked... Flufferboy? <laughs> Are you serious? Is that the real name? Yeah, Flufferboy2004. <laughs> oh my. I think he's a lawyer or attorney. Flufferboy. You know what a fluffer is? So, Corey, we have a question from Flufferboy2004, and he asked, how do I get laid? <laughs> well, first off, read 3% Man. And second off, first thing you should do is you should develop yourself into a guy who is a well-rounded dude who's got hobbies, he's got interests, he's got great friends, he's in great shape, he takes care of himself, he respects himself, he's disciplined, and he's got a mission and purpose in life that he's pursuing. For all men, we need to have some kind of mission and purpose that makes us feel alive on the inside. That is masculine energy. And women are attracted to men who know what they want and why they want it. And then they're trying to make it happen. Because if you're trying to make things happen in your life, if you're trying to build something, whether it's a career or a business or a great social life or a great personal life, it shows that you're moving through the world with force because if she's going to get together with you and potentially have children with you and say be a stay-at-home mom or rely upon you to be the provider and take care of her and be your protector and be a great father to the children, she's got to know that you can take care of yourself. And the sad state of affairs here in America, the statistics are 74% of all Americans are either overweight or they're morbidly obese. And so if you think about those numbers, if you just get fit and in shape, you don't have to be huge and look like Mr. Olympia. But if you take care of yourself and you look athletic and you look fit and you, you look in shape, you're already – You've basically eliminated 75% of the competition there just because you look better and you take better care of yourself. And so you're going to get more attention from that. And the key is to become the kind of guy. In other words, you want to become the kind of person you want to attract. And so you want to create a great life and lifestyle for yourself that you're proud of, that you're excited to live, that the people that you spend your time with are excited to spend time with you. And then when a girl comes along, she can be a compliment to your life. She can be the cherry on top of your ice cream sundae, so to speak, because you're having a good time. Because if you're happy, if you're enjoying your life, you're going to smile more. And people who smile and who are laughing are enjoying themselves. And all any of us have to do is go out in public and just sit on a park bench somewhere and look at the facial expressions of everybody around you. Most people don't look like they're very happy or having a good life. And if you're living your life and you're laughing and you're joking around, like one of the things I, I did an article years ago, I think it was called Three, Three Ways to Seduce Women and how you get – and then another one was how to get women to approach you first. And so if you're out in a bar or a nightclub or you're maybe at a friend's barbecue in the weekend and you're there to – you're not there to meet women. You're there to have a good time. And if you're having a good time – and you're laughing, and you're joking, and you're not really paying attention to the surroundings around you because you're totally 100% present with the people that you're talking to. If you, you know, you guys know when you go into the bars and the nightclubs, there's people that are, there's groups of guys that are having a good time and laughing and joking around. And there's all those kind of weird dudes that are kind of sitting in the corner and they got one hand in their pocket and they got their drink and they got, kind of got it in front of their chest like this because they're protecting their emotional center and they're they're not talking to anybody and then you walk in and they just kind of stare at you and they're not smiling and the vibe is like ooh, that's kind of where all the creepy guys are and then you look over here and there's this group of dudes that and there's always beautiful women around them and the guys are just focusing on having a good time and what you'll notice is that the women will come by they'll stay away from the weirdos in the corner and they'll come over and smile and look inward at the group of guys that are having a good time because people that are successful and happy in life are laughing and having a good time and then the women are going to try to get your attention and then when they're trying to get your attention they've already chosen you because you're exhibiting the behaviors of people that are successful at getting what they want in life 
And then it's just easy to start. They already came over because they liked you. Attraction is not a choice. It, it either is there or it is not. Attraction is not created. It can only be revealed and you can grow it. And when they come over and hope that you invite them into your social circle, and then you start chatting them up and asking them questions and talking, then you just take the process from there that I describe in the book. You can take her home that night, potentially. You can make an instant date in the spot, potentially. Or you can get a, a contact number to later call her or text her to make a date. But that's the beginning of the process. It's like you got to become what you want to attract. So there's a lot of things you have to do before you get to the point where you're focused and worried on getting laid. Because you're just focused and worried about getting laid and you don't take care of your life. Women are not going to feel safe around you. They're not going to feel, if you can't take care of yourself and your life and your purpose and your mission, you're not going to be able to handle her with a bunch of screaming babies.